Olga and today you're going to help me decide which outfits to pack for Scotland. Before we begin, I'm obviously going to bring a clear from Outlander outfit. I just haven't sewn it yet because I'm waiting on the fabric, but that's coming soon. I'm also bringing this dress that I've been making here on YouTube and it's not finished, but I will finish it and I will bring it. Let's start with this blue thrifted dress. Okay, so here is dress number one. Uh, it's poofy and it has big skirts. It's a little bit boring up here. I also feel like I want to add a slit to the underskirt. But I'll try with the corset and see. I think this looks so much better already. I'm just going to back up for you so you can see. Yes. I like it. Okay, next up we have this dress that I made. It's inspired by Alien Galathinius. Let's put it on. Here's the dress. By the way, this is the third time I'm putting this on because the clips keep getting deleted, but I'll try again. Here it is from the back. I usually always wear this with sleeves or I mean with a blouse underneath. kind of like it without sleeves as well. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. If you like this dress, if I should make some flowy sleeves for it, or maybe I should make some short sleeves instead, uh, let me know. Okay, so here's a dress I made a couple of years ago. Uh, it can be worn open or I can close it. Uh, I can even wear a black long skirt. It's very sparkly. The bodice has a lot of mistakes and it's glue gunned some of the places, but I can totally fix that. I also have some sleeves for this dress. Here are the sleeves that I made for the dress. They're very imperfect as well. Let me know if you like it more with the sleeves or without the sleeves. Here's another option. Uh, I made the sleeves and the skirt for this dress and this is just a cheap corset that I use for a bodice. Obviously it's not a completely perfect color match. Uh, you can also wear the sleeves in several different ways. I'll show you another one. So this is one of the other ways the sleeves can be worn. I really like this version actually. Let me know what you like the best. Now we have this dress. I like to think of it as my Merida dress because it reminds me of Merida from the Disney movie Brave. I also have a red wig. It's not as big and curly as Merida's hair. Maybe it would give enough Merida vibes anyway. <laughs> and here is my Disney Princess wedding dress that I bought secondhand. It's obviously gorgeous. So this could be really cool for photo shoots. Now here's a lilac dress that I really like. It has a very shiny fabric. You can also wear it with a cloak. It can be worn with a hood up or a hood down like this. Then we have this green outfit. And this is also a skirt that I made. It's got a lot of fabric to play with. I'm kind of thinking about making just a simple top with this fabric. Just a simple top like this. What do you think? <laughs> and now we have this vintage wedding dress that I modified. Uh, now it looks kind of like a coat. It has a small train. I would wear something underneath. But I haven't decided what color. If you can help me out, which color dress should I wear under this? And should I bring it? Or not. I think white is a good color for photo shoots and for like stunning nature so I think this could be really cool. So I feel like this is very Elizabeth Swan coded. These are two dresses that I thrifted and modified but yeah definitely Elizabeth Swan vibes. I feel like if I would be running around in this at like twilight in an open landscape that could be really cool. It's a lilac dress, it's also thrifted. I don't know how to style this dress, but it's gorgeous. The fabric is quite nice. This could be a nice princess dress to just run around in. Yeah, let me know what you think. Then we have my Alice in Wonderland dress. It's also thrifted. This has slightly less fabric in the skirt, I think, but it's still stunning. I also don't know how to style this one, so if you have any ideas, uh, let me know. But here we have my pink princess dress. Not as much fabric as I would like in the skirts, but it's very cute. And it could be like a cool contrast with like the rough nature. I could also split it open and have like a slit on one side. I have this brown wool cloak. It feels very outlander to me as well. I could wear it with the, my clear costume. I'll definitely bring this one. And here is my red riding hood cloak. Kind of more like a cape because it's not very wide. It could look nice with a dress like this underneath. What do you think? Now I know. I definitely want to bring this red wig. It would go great with my Merida dress. I was thinking of bringing this white wig for 
maybe a Targaryen look. This blonde wig. I feel like this is Aileen's hair color. Then I have my pink wig and my blue wig. I don't know if I should bring these hair colors. If you have any ideas for them, uh, let me know. I might bring this brown wig and do a little Nesta cosplay but with the mountains and with leathers. I think it could look cool. Now as for props and accessories, uh, we will be having a couple long swords, a couple flintlock pistols, I think, some daggers. We might also have some armor pieces. I think they could go well with some of the dresses. I'm not going to show you all the accessories that I have, that would take too long. But if you have any styling ideas for any of the outfits that I've shown you, let me know in the comments and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye!